Hi everyone, welcome to this part 11 of our coronavirus boredom fighting series and this is probably going to be the last one. Today we're going to photograph a nose spray. Now what are we going to need for today's image? It's not all that much but it's a bit more advanced than usual. First of all we're going to need a camera. I'm going to use the Sony a6000 with a kit lens. Then we of course need a nose spray an off-camera flash with a trigger, a tripod will make things much easier today, a kitchen roll and a book. First of all I'm going to place the nose spray and somewhere in the back I'm going to place my flash. Now I don't want the light of the flash to get into the camera so I need to block the light and I'm going to use a book for that. Next I will place the camera and change my camera settings. I will choose an aperture of around f8, a shutter speed of 1 1 60th of a second and an ISO of 100. Then I need to focus. I'm going to set the camera to manual focus afterwards. I have that on this button and I take my first test shot. Looks okay but the front of the nose spray is a bit dark so we need to brighten that up and I will use this kitchen paper for that and I'm going to place it just outside the frame. Okay that looks fine. Now it's time for our first spray shots and now the challenge really starts. I need to time my spraying with pressing the shutter button. Let's give it a try. It took a few frames because the A6000 has a delay when I use the external flash. Now we have one image of the nose spray with fingers and one image of the nose spray without fingers. What if we combine them in Photoshop? Before we start let me show you a trick. Did you know that in YouTube you can set the playback speed to 0.5 or even 0.25 of a second? That will greatly help you if I'm too quick with my explanations. First of all let me show you how I brightened up the bottle in Lightroom. I'll choose the adjustment brush, select auto mask and then bring the exposure up quite a bit and then I brush over the bottle like that. Okay, reduce the exposure a tad, bring the highlights up a bit and even the shadows. Okay, then I select both images, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. That will open both images as layers in Photoshop. I will select the lower layer and bring it up. Then I reduce the opacity so that both are visible. I zoom in and drag the image so that the bottles overlap. Then I increase the opacity to 100% again. Click on the top layer and create a mask. With the mask selected I will hit B on the keyboard for the brush tool and period to make the brush size bigger. Now I will paint with black color over the areas that I want to be hidden. Like the hand, the fingers, all that. The comma key will make the brush size smaller and I can paint more detailed. Okay, make it bigger again with a soft brush and paint over this area and maybe over here and I'd say we're finished. Zoom out. Here is our final image and if you want to learn more about image editing check out our Lightroom tutorials. So much for this video series. From now on I'm going to concentrate more on the course again and finally finish that camera test I was doing. So if you haven't already 
watch that course and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.